Hi, Harper's Bazaar. I'm Paul Meskel, and I'm going to be answering questions all about me. So the first question is, how many Instagram followers does the account at Connell's Chain currently have? I don't know the answer. I think it's 100,000. It's too many followers for a chain account, I think. I think what I love about that show is that it's not really focused on plot, essentially. It's focused on two characters kind of finding their way in and out of each other's lives. Also, independently, how hard it is to kind of grow up and fall in love and fall out of love. And it feels like it's going to be something I'm going to be proud of forever. I once said I was obsessed with the show True Detective and season one was the nickname given to Matthew McConaughey's character. The accountant. The tax man, shit. I watched that again. That's so funny that this question is on. I rewatched it like last week and I still got the answer wrong. What motivates me about that show is probably the acting, I think. Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson kind of at the pinnacle of what I think like good acting is and, and the standard of writing in that show is just extraordinary. So chef's kiss. According to IMDb, what is the total runtime of After Sun? Is it 96 minutes, 92 minutes? 102. It feels like 92. <laughs> the whole Oscar thing was, like when I say that the film felt small when we were making it, it felt tiny. And then you're suddenly getting to the tail end of last year and you're hearing whispers that you might be in the running for it. And then it happens. And then it's over before you know it. It's uh, definitely a night to remember, I think. I won an Olivier Award in 2022 for playing Stanley Kowalski in A Street Camp Named Desire. What year was the original play first performed on Broadway? It was 1948? 49? 47, shit. I was, do you know my first answer was in my head was 1947. Then I was like, that's too close to the end of World War II. I think this is the longest period I've ever been not on stage for since I graduated from drama school. I think it was two years since I did Lieutenant Diminish More, but it is up there as one of my favorite plays of all time. I think it's just so beautifully written and to get to play somebody like Stanley, um, who is very much in his body and I think animalistic versus somebody like Callum, it just felt like a challenge that was really exciting to me. Before acting, I was a Gaelic football player. Which match is this photo from? It was definitely a Leinster final against Dublin. I think it's the match that we ended up being like seven or eight points up at half time and they beat us after extra time. And uh, still hurts to this day. <laughs> I definitely miss Gaelic football. It would definitely would have been the thing that I would have driven myself towards had acting not come along. It's just so difficult to kind of imagine that version of my life now, I think. In which hotel did I film the music video for the Rolling Stones song, Scarlet? I filmed Scarlet in Claridge's. Yeah, that was right smack bang at the start of COVID. The protocols that were in place meant that we couldn't have any crew in the room. So hence the kind of concept of me pulling the camera around the place. A lot of it was kind of just long takes. And it, there's an amazing thing that happens in your brain when you start panicking and you're like, nobody's calling cut. <laughs> what is the longest river in my home country of Ireland? Uh, it is the Shannon. Yeah, I try and get home as much as possible. It's definitely a place that I probably feel most comfortable and that's where mum and dad are still just trying to find the time to get there. I helped curate a Spotify playlist for the character of Normal People's Connell. Which Billie Eilish song made that playlist? Ocean Eyes? When the party's over, of course, of course. Actually, I love music. <laughs> I don't know, that's like, I find that's a difficult thing, but like, I think my like music taste is pretty varied and listening to a lot of Irish music at the moment. Like a lot of the gloaming are in there. Mitski's great. I'm suspicious of people who don't like music. I don't know what the world would like look or feel or sound like if music wasn't in it. I've shown off my piano and singing skills in a series of song covers that include Sia's Chandelier. What key is that song originally written in? I have no idea. Definitely not the key that I sung it in or attempted to sing it in. Gonna fly like a bird. B minor. <laughs> I was definitely going to go with a minor because it's kind of sad, but um, yeah, B minor. I thought I wanted to do musical theatre when I started, like when I was 16, and then quickly realised that you have to be like a really good dancer. So that dream was shattered. The act of being on stage for eight shows a week and not having to sing is challenging enough as it is. And I kind of tip my hat to any actor doing musical theater and doing eight shows a week and singing and dancing and running around. It's an achievement that we actually don't praise enough. I find it taxing just doing 
just acting eight shows a week when you throw singing and dancing on top of it. I like it's just incredible. Okay, so the final round is lightning round, and I have 30 seconds to answer as much questions as possible. What is my comfort show? Uh, True Detective. Uh, who is my favorite music artist? The Gloaming. Uh, which do I prefer, sweet or salty? Salty. What is my comfort food? Chicken wings. Uh, which do I prefer, a suit or a t-shirt and jeans? T-shirt and jeans. Uh, what is my favorite city, New York? Uh, what am I most excited about when I think about my future? Uh, being in one place. Who is... Okay, good. <laughs> I did better than I thought I'd do there. I got like five. Thank you so much for having me, Harper's Bazaar. This was a lot of fun.